As Iraqi forces inch closer to retaking the city of Mosul from the Islamic State, one of the prizes in their sights has been the Al Nuri Mosque, one of Iraq's oldest and most important landmarks, and the place where ISIS leader Abu Bakr al Baghdadi first proclaimed a caliphate in 2014. But as of today, the mosque is gone. The Iraqi army says ISIS fighters blew it up rather than see it captured. ISIS blames an American airstrike. It's another ugly milestone in a grueling and bloody fight for the city. Ben Anderson is in Mosul with Iraqi forces. These families have just escaped ISIS. As Iraqi soldiers slowly clear buildings, desperate civilians take their chances and run towards them. For over eight months, they have lived under siege, facing constant shelling and airstrikes in their homes and the threat of murder by ISIS if they try to flee. Hundreds have already been gunned down as they try to escape. <laughs> As they run from gunmen who are shooting from houses just 50 meters away, one man spits on the rotting corpse of a recently killed ISIS fighter. These civilians made it, but minutes later another man was shot and killed on the same street. I've never ever seen relief like that on anyone's face. Every day, hundreds of civilians are fleeing from Zanjili, but something like 100,000 are still trapped in Mosul's old city, the last neighborhood that ISIS still controls. So this is Zanjili, one of the last few neighborhoods in West Mosul still controlled by ISIS, or partly controlled by ISIS. There's a body of an ISIS fighter there. Um, but it's also partly controlled by the Iraqi security forces now, and everything, every car, every house, every window, every door, is just completely destroyed. <laughs> That's not a terrorist hell going out. ISIS have had months to fortify their positions here. Many of them are battle-hardened, well-trained, and both unwilling and unable to surrender. They are fighting to the death which makes progress against them excruciatingly difficult. It can take a day to clear a single building. In this one house, three ISIS bodies are left to rot as the fighting continues around them. Do you know how he was killed? Iraq's armed forces have less than nine square kilometers left to recapture. But these last few neighborhoods are proving to be the most difficult. The battle was supposed to be over months ago. An estimated 50 ISIS snipers are fighting from Al Jamouri Hospital. It's one of the tallest buildings in Mosul and allows them to inflict many casualties. So, how significant will it be if the Iraqi security forces take the hospital? Major Al-Shamari says the snipers have surrounded themselves with hundreds of civilians and have a 360-degree view of the city. They have snipers positioned all over their territory and they have killed many soldiers. In a recently cleared school, Iraqi soldiers found a cache of weapons. And do you think they will try and surrender, or will they fight until they are, they are killed and finished? This is the 36th Brigade of the 9th Armoured Division of the Iraqi Army. They've been on the front line since operations against ISIS started in October last year. In the three days we spent with this unit, they alone lost seven soldiers. These men, trained to fight in tanks, have no choice but to fight on foot, taking one building at a time. 
It's a painfully slow and gruelling process. As the soldiers push on, one of them is shot from just two houses away. Despite being regularly pinned down by sniper fire, the soldiers have to forge ahead, knowing this will lead to further losses. Today, their goal is to liberate a school that they say 10 ISIS fighters are shooting from. To try and avoid the sniper fire, the soldiers blow holes in connecting walls. And edge their way closer and closer to the school. As they get closer, bullets zip and crackle over their heads. Just a street separates them from the school. But the incoming fire is so great that they still call on American and Iraqi air controllers to repeatedly strike the building and kill the ISIS fighters. So the school, where they said there were 10 snipers, got hit with two more strikes and goodness knows how many shells from Thanks. So this just shows you why these last few neighborhoods are proving so hard to clear because they're getting pounded from the air all day long all night. One group of soldiers advances towards the school. They fire wildly and even resort to throwing hand grenades. Two soldiers have been killed while storming the school, almost certainly by friendly fire. After over eight hours of vicious fighting, the 9th Division finally takes the school. Once the bodies are taken away, enraged, the soldiers fire into the air and back into the school. So it looks like this part of the school, at least, is liberated. But look at what a liberated building in West Mosul looks like. <laughs> <laughs> 